Reese Witherspoon dishes on Meryl Streep. This little life ending. Los Angeles it was fascinating to hear Reese Witherspoon recount how she psyched herself up before she shot her first scene with the world's preeminent actress in Big Little Life. Meryl is the person who surprises you the most, Reese said about Lost Street, who joined the cast of both the claims limited series in its season 2. This time, the crime drama mystery explores the emotional trauma the so-called moderate by Grease, Nicole Kidman, Shailene Woodley, Joe Kravitz and Laura Dern continue to face after the death of Terry Wright, Alexander Skarsgård. Meryl's Mary Louise Wright arrives in town to find out the truth about her son Terry's death. Needless to say, Mary Louise has an adversarial relationship with the Monterey Mon, including Reese Madeline Marvin McKenzie. When I walked on set that first day and Meryl was wearing her tool, costume and she had her look completely thought out. It was not at all what I thought it was going to be, Cher Reese, radiant in purple roses dress in this Los Angeles interview. Meryl created this character who is so pathetic. And that sort of martyr that he couldn't be angry at her. Reese, an excellent actress herself, offered an engrossing seat into what it's like to act opposite the most nominated performer in both the Academy and Golden Globe Awards history. On the first day of shooting, my first scene was with Meryl, and I had to go behind the wall and say, She's not Meryl Streep, she's not Meryl Streep, she's Mary Louise. Okay, does Madeline know who Mary Louise is? No, she doesn't care who Mary Louise is. Okay. So, I had to reset myself all the time and remind myself that she was not my favorite actress of all time. Reese added, I have learned so much from Meryl. It begins with the idea that just reading the script doesn't inform character. I mean, she knows where her character was born. She knows how much money she has. She knows how many times she's been married and divorced. She knows her religion, if she's sort of religious or not. I remember on the first day, my character wanted to challenge her. So, my character decided to improve with her. And it was amazing. Because we had to do this whole intro about where Mary Louise wanted to find her apartment. Meryl had memorized all the surrounding areas of Monterey, so she knew exactly where her character would have rented an apartment. But there's more, according to Reed. She has studied Alexander Star for his facial technique, what his mouth did and how his face moves. She tried to emulate a lot of these things. If I wasn't a fan before, now I'm like a uber fan. But it was humbling, and it made you work harder. It made you come to set and be even more prepared. And I've been working with Laura, Nicole, Shailene and Zo. Away from the cameras, Reese and her castmates have more reasons to be in more with the legendary actress, who just turned 70 last June 22nd. Off the set, Meryl puts it all aside and, she's like, where shall we go to dinner, girl? I see, like, does anyone want to get dinner? She was always the first person to say, yes. Are we having wine? Let's do it. Ah, uh, to be a fly on the wall listening to Meryl, and she would tell us stories about everything, from Kramer to Kramer to Sophie's Choice. It makes me want to cry, laugh. I thought all these amazing stories about her experiences, then Nicole would tell stories about Stanley Kubrick or Bob Lorman. You just think about the history of these women in this room is extraordinary. I feel very honored to be mentored by these women who I have looked up to for so long. As for her own character, Madeline, Reese said, it's fascinating to examine all of these issues, whether you're dealing with motherhood, relationships, friendships, sexual, assault or domestic violence, but from a female perspective. When we were creating Madeline in season 1, the affair and all that wasn't in the book. The second season is about recovery from trauma, learning to look at yourself through a real clear lens, trying to understand that things are progressing and moving forward. Reese, who produces the show with Nicole, creator David E. Kelly and others, talked about her production, company with obvious pride. She said, my company is called Hello Sunshine. 
Our mission is to put women at the center of their stories and have more diverse voices telling stories in Hollywood and all over every media platform, whether that's Instagram or YouTube. Another thing that we're doing is we have an initiative where we have 20 girls every summer from very diverse backgrounds come. For a day, they learn everything about Hollywood, how to edit, write for the screen, to actually shoot film, to market things. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to mentor this many young women. But this is our second year, and we do it every July. The mom of three in real life happily obliged with an update on her case. Ava Elizabeth and Deacon Reed, both with ex husbands, actor Ryan Lee, and Tennessee James, with husband James, top, a top Hollywood agent. Lots of dating. My house is filled with teenagers all the time, which is so much fun. It's nice being the mom of a teenager. We have great conversations. We get to travel and talk about issues. Then, I have a six, hyphen year old. And he's about to go to first grade. Asked about the ending of the series which has attracted many viewers. Please answer, on. It's so good. Press on why the finale is going to be controversial. Please reveal, it wasn't when finale script. We shot a bunch of different endings, then we made a choice later. We only made a decision about five weeks ago. All the seven producers watched it at once and, ah, we had some arguments. We had questions. So, I can't wait for people to see it because I think it will be a conversation starter, for sure. It definitely ends with a bang. I think people will be talking. I am thrilled. She said when asked if she herself is happy with the ending. Mainly because it lets the audience have their own opinions of whether or not these women are making the right choice for their life. Follow him at slash slash twitter.com slash Mikhail Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.